During the coldest time each year, the Matariki star cluster comes rising up for the first time in the eastern sky. This always happens in the early morning, just before the sun gets out of bed. We keep a lookout for this happening because it marks the beginning of an important time of year, the Māori New Year. This is a time for coming together with our whānau, our family, to think about the past year, plan for the future and to take action. In doing this, we come to understand how each member of our whānau plays their own special part and how sharing in the wisdom of our family members, especially our grandparents and mums and dads, and appreciating what they do, can help us to shape what we do for and in the world. Did you know that seven stars of Matariki are a family? According to the Iwi Ngāti Toa, the star Matariki is the mother, and she has six daughters, Tupua Nuku, Tupua Rangi, Wai Puna Rangi, Waiti and Waita, and Ururangi. The journey they take with their mother each year across the sky is to come and visit their Tupuna Wahine, their grandmother, Papa Tuanuku, the earth. During their visit, they help Papa Tuanuku to prepare for the year to come, using their unique qualities to bring Modi to her different environments. While spending time with their queer, they also learn new skills and gain new knowledge from her, which they guard and pass on to others. Now let's learn more about each of these stars. Tupuanuku, the eldest, spends her time with Papa Tuanuku tending to the different growing plants. She pays special attention to making sure they have everything they need to grow big and strong so they can produce kai, rongoa and kākahu. When we see her shining, we are reminded that we all have our own special time and place, and to spend time growing our strengths, our pukenga, as well as those of our friends. Tupuārangi loves to sing and has a song for every occasion. Papa takes her to sing along for Te Waunui Atane, the great forests and all the children of Tane Mahuta. Her beautiful voice revives the forest. Because of her actions, the manu, the mokomoko, indeed all creatures of the forest share their waiata too, which fills the world with joy. Tupuarangi learns these songs and holds them close to her heart. We learn from her the importance of sharing our gifts with others. Waipunarangi accompanies her grandmother to the waters, the oceans, lakes and rivers, where she prepares the children of Tangaro to feed the people. Papa teaches her about the waters that spills down from Ranginui, collects together to provide drinking water for the people, animals and plants. She also watches how the water is evaporated by the heat of Tamanui Terā to make clouds that cloak Ranginui so that it can rain once again. Wai Punarangi knows that if you give to others, all that kindness will come back to you. Waiti and Waita are Matariki's twins. Papa knew that they would be able to care for the smallest and fastest of creatures, the insects, because like the insects, they know how to work as a team. Even though insects are small, they are many, and when they work together, they can do amazing things. Bees pollinate all the flowers so that the plants grow. The ants build huge tunnel cities underneath the ground. When we see these two stars in the sky, we are encouraged to join in and support each other. 
Last but not least, we have Ururangi, the youngest. She enjoys racing all of her sisters to get to her grandmother first. She claims the spot on her grandmother's lap and wraps herself in her arms, settling in for her favourite stories. Her excitement helps Papa to get into the right mood after the cold and darkness to prepare with the others. A good attitude is always key to success. But what about Matariki, you may ask? Well, she is doing what all good mums do, watching over her children, supporting and encouraging them, sharing their strengths, helping them to do their best. Mums and dads are great, aren't they? Have a think about your fire and matua and what they do for you.